Hey, welcome. My name is Samson Williams. This is Maureen Marat, and this is Crowdy Advisors. Uh, so my name is Samson Williams. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a professor at the University of uh, New Hampshire School of Law, as well as Columbia University in uh, New York. I teach blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and some AI topics. Uh, to here today, we're here with Maureen Marat, who's the principal uh, consultant for Crowdy Advisors, to talk to you about crowdfunding. Hi everyone, Maureen Murad here. I am, as Samson mentioned, principal at Crowdy Advisors, which is a small business consulting firm where our motto is small business demystified, crowdfunding simplified. So my goal is to help folks who are interested in raising funds for their business via equity crowdfunding to, find, to have the tools and resources to be able to do that. When I am not consulting, I am also um, practicing law. I'm an attorney licensed to practice in New York and Florida. And I am also an adjunct professor at the University of New Hampshire School of Law, um, where I teach in the blockchain, cryptocurrency, and the law program. But as Samson mentioned, today we'll be talking about what is crowdfunding. So just to give a quick uh, definition, crowdfunding is the raising of small amounts from a large group of people to either fund a project, a cause, or a venture. Mm -hmm. So why why are people interested in crowdfunding? Why why might they find that of interest? Why did they tune in today? Uh, I think one of the main um, interests or benefits of crowdfunding is the fact that oftentimes people are looking for funding for different types of for different reasons and aren't able to get them in from traditional means. So traditional means are from bank loans or maybe credit cards or family and friends. So crowdfunding is a way to raise the funds that you require from a, gr a larger group of people and because those small amounts add up. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about small amounts adding up, I want to give them a little bit of context around is just everything crowdfunding? Are there different types of crowdfunding? What does that, what is, what give us some more insight into that? Yes. Yeah, so good question. There are different types of crowdfunding. Generally, when we think of crowdfunding, we think of GoFundMe where people are seeking donations, but there are four main types of crowdfunding. So the first one is donation based, um, which is when people raise money on, on GoFundMe for different causes. And then there is rewards based. One of the most popular ones, popular platforms is um, Kickstarter, where people receive something in return for the money that they give. So an example would be if I'm selling T-shirts uh, and I am trying to raise $10,000. I could say, if you give me 20, I'll give you a t-shirt. If you give me $50, I'll give you two t-shirts. Or the other option is to be one of the first people to receive a product that is um, in production based on how much you, you give. And then there is equity crowdfunding, which is where um, folks who are small businesses or startups trying to raise money for their businesses and in exchange for the investments, they are giving up a little bit of equity. And then there's debt crowdfunding, which allows you to do something somewhat similar to equity in the sense that you're taking in money from investors, but instead of um, in exchange for equity, it's an exchange for debt. So you would have to make payments so that you can satisfy the debt at the point. Okay, uh, let me just capture that up yeah. in like a quick sound bite. Four types of crowdfunding. Yes. Donations, giving, no expectation of anything back, yes. just out of the kindness of your heart. Reward-based crowdfunding, where you give the money, they give you back some type of reward, a gift, a t-shirt, um, maybe a pen or a coffee mug. Yes. Right? Um, and then there's debt crowdfunding, which is a loan. You are lending people money and they pay you back at a given interest rate. Right. And then there's equity crowdfunding, uh, which works sort of like Shark Tank, where instead of having five sharks, you have a bunch of sharks. And they're saying that for this much of equity in my pie, in my business, for 10%, we are accepting a million dollars for 10% equity in our business. And those million dollars might come in very small increments. Right. Very small investments. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Excellent. So now we have what crowdfunding is sort of wrapped up in that nice little nest egg. We do want to talk a little bit more in depth in our next video about specifically about equity crowdfunding and debt crowdfunding and some of the rules and regulations. So stay tuned for one moment. Um, we're going to pop on over and start in our next segment about debt and equity crowdfunding. All right. See you in the next one.